Hi, it's Friday, July the 11th. I'm Max Brantley, and I'm going to talk about news in the Arkansas Times today. That's at arkansasblog.com, if you didn't know. Uh, it's all politics today. The Arkansas Press Association had a convention in Hot Springs and had debates for three statewide offices, Lieutenant Governor, Attorney General, and Governor. Governor was definitely the marquee event, and there actually was some excitement. I've already scored this on the blog for Mike Ross. I thought he made tough points on some clear policy differences particularly his plan for pre-K education, particularly his support for the minimum wage increase, and particularly his support to fight for the private option health insurance coverage. Mike Ross paints all these things as things that he's for, that help a lot of people, that Asa Hutchinson is against, and that that shows Asa Hutchinson is out of touch. Asa, of course, resisted that characterization, but turned to describing Mike Ross as a pal of Nancy Pelosi's. I didn't think that was a particularly effective comeback. There'll be a lot more debates. Mike Ross needed a good debate performance because I think most polls show him trailing. I think he made up some ground today. The lieutenant governor's race, uh, not much to say. John Burkhalter wants to paint Tim Griffin as a career politician, which is true, even not so much an elective office, but he's been a political hack, as the Democratic Party has said, for better than 15 years, working for George Bush, Karl Rove, and those sorts of people. Tim Griffin tried to turn this to his advantage by saying the real political hack is Mike Ross, who spent all his life in public office. Well, Tim Griffin isn't running against Mike Ross. Uh, the race for attorney general between Nate Steele and Leslie Rutledge, gee, I had a hard time telling who was a Democrat, Nate Steele, and who was a Republican, Leslie Rutledge. Well, actually, they both sounded like Republicans. There was one very small comment that some sophisticated people noticed, and that was when Nate Steele said he would place a limit on hiring outside counsel. This is a real big white flag to the business community. That means, perhaps, that if Nate Steele wins, he'd stop the practice of hiring these big national class action lawyers who file big lawsuits that produce multi-million dollar verdicts against big corporations. Business would like that. The average guy, maybe not so much. Elsewhere in the news today, an unbelievable decision yesterday by the Little Rock Civil Service Commission to refuse to even suspend a cop who beat the living daylights out of somebody in a bar for the crime, basically, of being drunk. Uh, the police chief had thought he should be fired, uh, the lieutenant who did this. The commission didn't want to fire him or suspend him. I think there's a very good chance the city of Little Rock will, will appeal this decision as it has done before. This commission has shown a propensity to forgive cops for bad behavior. If no harm is done when a cop just beats on somebody after he's been subdued, we'll have trouble with our police force. And in this case, it was done in front of a video camera. Goodness knows what will happen if there's not a camera around. Other news today, some bad, some good. It's good and bad news, a terrible story about a dog that had fireworks strapped to it over the July 4th holiday up in northwest Arkansas. Burned terribly. They found the owners of the dog. It's still unclear what happened, but people have turned out a tremendous amount of goodwill for this poor little 13-year-old terrier. And finally, this is simple good news, unless you want to be on the lake. It's going to be cool in Arkansas next week, as low as 57 degrees in the middle of July. How about that? I'm Max Brantley. I'll see you next week.